Hello, I'm Mr. Parker, and I live on Music Street. We're all at home right now trying out this weird new way of learning, so why don't we turn music class into a TV show? Here's how we do it. First we do a warm up and we dance upon the ground. Then put the words on the tips of our tongues and twist them all around. We take our vocal cords and then we get them all relaxed. Then echo songs for me to sing to you that you sing back. Then we'll sing in ten minutes just for fun, 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 fun. fun. To the grab bag, see what we can find. Books galore and stories, so we don't all lose our minds. What's in Mr. Parker's house? Don't you wanna know? Then stuff for you to do after you finish up the show. It's the house on Music Street. Greetings, all my Brobding Nagians and Lilliputians. I'm Mr. Parker, and this is episode six of The House on Music Street. If this thing looks a little unwieldy, it's because Ted was supposed to get a smaller suitcase. Lol, sorry, couldn't find it. Sometimes I think I'd like to put Ted in this suitcase. This episode is called The Travel Sequence which is a little Easter egg for all of you kids out there who are fans of obscure Pink Floyd trivia. Just about everything in this episode is gonna be related to traveling. So come with me and let's travel to outer space as we do every time for the body warm up. And I'll introduce you to a friend of mine called the Disco Space Captain. Body warm up. Hey, wait 
Wait a minute, you're not Donnie Caw. You're Johnny Caw back with a beard. No, no. I, I'm Lonnie Caw. <laughs> you can tell I'm not Johnny Caw. I, I have a, a cowboy voice. I'm definitely not Johnny Caw. Who definitely Johnny Caw's still sitting at home, uh, not talking in a cowboy voice and not regretting retiring. Wait, so your family has a Johnny Caw, a Donnie Caw, and a Lonnie Caw, huh? Yes, sir. Oh, well, this all sounds extremely likely. Can I ask? No further questions. Tongue twister's on a map. Today we're going to travel between two towns with similar names, Wibbleton and Wobbleton. I'm going to let you read the tongue twister a couple times, pause it if you need to, and then say it with me when we get on the road. Now try it from memory. From Wibbleton to Wobbleton is 15 miles. From Wobbleton to Wibbleton is 15 miles. From Wibbleton to Wobbleton, from Wobbleton to Wibbleton, from Wibbleton to Wobbleton is 15 miles. Too easy, let's try it faster. One, two, here I go. From Wibbleton to Wobbleton is 15 miles. From Wobbleton to Wibbleton is 15 miles. From Wibbleton to Wobbleton, from Wobbleton to Wibbleton, from Wibbleton to Wobbleton is 15 miles. All right, ladies and gentlemen, before we start our vocal warm up, we need to see which car is going to win the right to be in our vocal warm up. Is it the pink? bug or the ice cream truck. Whichever one wins the race by crossing this blue line first, we'll get to be in our vocal warm up. Pause the video now if you need to place a call to your bookie. Otherwise, just watch and enjoy. Who are you cheering for? The pink one or the ice cream truck? The pink one or the ice cream truck? Here we go. Drivers, on your mind. Get set, go! Oh, it's the pink bug. <laughs> Winner! Almost winner. Better luck next time, guy. You are so close. All right, I have five pieces of paper underneath the camera that I have chosen for a vocal warm up. I chose this one first because it looks like the curvature of the Mississippi River where I live. I'll put it right here. Then I'm gonna take another one. This car won the race, so I've tied it to a fishing pole. Every time the car goes up the hill, make your voice go up. Every time the car goes down the hill, make your voice go down. Say it with me. Try it backwards, and instead of saying it on ooh, let's say it on o. Oh. Oh. Cool, but too easy. Now I'm going to change him around. Ready? Last one. Let's say it on ooh again. Let's say it on ooh. Ready? Ooh. 
All right. Let's go to Alabama. Now it's time for everybody's favorite, the Echo Song, or as I call it in class, a My Turn, Your Turn song. Today's Echo Song takes us to Alabama and beyond. It's called Alabama Bound. I'm Alabama Bound. I'm Alabama Bound. And if the train don't stop and turn around, I'm Alabama Bound. I'm Louisiana bound And if the train don't stop and turn around I'm Louisiana bound Oh yes, I'm Kansas bound Oh yes, I'm Kansas bound And if the train don't stop and turn around oh yes i'm kansas bound oh i'm alaska bound oh i'm alaska bound and if the train don't stop and turn around oh i'm alaska bound hey Cannon. I'm sitting extra close to the camera right now because I want you to really pay attention to the message I'm about to give you because I am very serious about it. Give a hoot! Don't pollute. Why would you pollute in a world? There's nothing that can ruin a road trip faster or sully your traveling quicker than looking out the window on a beautiful drive and seeing eight empty bottles of pop. On the bright side though, it might remind you of a song. A song that we can sing in canon. Do your best, listen to me, and follow after me with this version of me. One bottle of pop, two bottles of pop, three bottles of pop, four bottles of pop, five bottles of pop, six bottles of pop, seven bottles of pop, four bottles of pop, Throw your junk in my backyard, my backyard, my backyard. Don't throw your junk in my backyard, my backyard's full. Fish and chips in my backyard, my backyard's full. Fish and chips in my backyard, my backyard's full. Fish and chips in vinegar, pepper, 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 salt. Fish and chips in vinegar, pepper, 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 salt. And now a word from our sponsor. Today's episode of The House on Music Street is brought to you by Toddler Karate School. Uh, yeah. Sensei Natalie will teach you one move and then how to do it a hundred times when you're supposed to be taking a nap. Toddler Karate School. Come for the high uh, yeah. Stay for the high uh, yeah. And by the four-year-old comedy tour. Are you tired of knock-knock jokes that follow the correct structure? Don't you wish you could have more jokes where the punchlines make zero sense? Come check out the four-year-old comedy tour, bringing classics like this to a town near you. Hey buddy, can you tell me a joke? I was going to tell you a joke, but it's hard to tell jokes when you're just a dinosaur. Whoa! <laughs> the four-year-old comedy tour. Coming to these cities, uh, I don't know, probably not for another year at least. It's my son's favorite part of the show. Here we go. I hope I get a good one. Today's grab bag says, You stink. Ah, <laughs> oh, not cool, whoever put that in there. Sorry. Not cool. Let's get a different one. 
This one says, ooh, Ida Red. Let's sing a little song about a lady who travels down the road and across the creek. But we're not just going to sing the song, Ida Red. Oh, no. It's time to play Wheel of Ida. You at home, pause the video real quick and go find something that you can pretend is a button. Like the type of button you might press if you were spinning a wheel on a game show. Every time you press that button, it's going to spin the wheel of Ida. Each time the wheel spins, it'll land on a different color of dress. Fill in the blank at the end of each verse with a rhyming word to complete that verse. One time I'll sing the song without any blanks, so you can figure out exactly how this is going to go. Down the road and across the creek can't get a letter but once a week Ida red, Ida blue I got stuck on Ida too Press the button to spin the wheel in three, two, one. And hey, don't forget to fill in the blank at the end of the verse with a rhyming word. Down the road and across the creek Can't get a letter but once a week Ida red, Ida green She's so bored in hmm 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 She's so bored in hmm 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 She's so bored in hmm 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 Ida red, Ida green She's so bored in quarantine did you guess it? Did you guess quarantine? Get your finger on that button because it's time to spin the wheel again. Ready? Three, two, one, and press. Ooh, pink. What do you think? Hey, sing along if you want to. Down the road and across the creek Can't get a letter but once a week Ida red, Ida pink, rolled around the skating, hmm. Rolled around the skating, hmm. Rolled around the skating, hmm. Ida red, Ida pink, rolled around the skating rink. Skating rink. Nice. Get ready and press the button. Ready? Press it now! Ah, yella. Down the road and across the creek Can't get a letter but once a week Ida red, Ida yella Found herself a brand new hmm. Found herself a brand new hmm. Found herself a brand new hmm. Ida red, Ida yella Found herself a brand new fella I bet a lot of you got that one right. If you did, give yourself a pat on the back. Get ready to press the button again. Ready? In three, two, one, and press. Ida Red, Ida Red. Well, this is gonna be redundant. Down the road and across the creek. Can't get a letter but once a week. Ida Red, Ida Red, gets around on a hmm hmm. Gets around on a hmm hmm. Gets around on a hmm hmm. Ida Red, Ida Red, gets around on a bobsled. If you guessed that one, you must be feeling the rhythm and feeling the rhyme. All right, we've got one left. Ready? Press that button in three, two, one, and press.
Ah, uh, black. Here we go. Down the road and across the creek. Can't get a letter but once a week. Ida red, Ida black. Stuff your sorries in a. Stuff your sorries in a. Stuff your sorries in a. Ida red, Ida black. Stuff your sorries in a sack. Stuff your sorries in a sack is yet another super timely Seinfeld reference from me. Hope you liked it. Hope you had fun. Now our Ida Red song is done. Summer's going to be here before we know it. That's why we're taking our book today out to the pool house. Follow me. This is The Pout Pout Fish by Deborah Deason with pictures by Dan Hanna, published by Farrar Strauss Giroux Books for Young Readers in 2008. Deep in the water where the fish hang out lives a glum, gloomy swimmer with an ever-present pout. I'm a pout-pout fish with a pout-pout face, so I spread the dreary wearies all over the place. Blub, blub, blub. Along comes a clam with a wide winning grin and a pearl of advice for her pal to take in. Hey, Mr. Fish, with your cross-town frown, don't you think it's time to turn it upside down? Says the fish to his friend. Nice thought, Mrs. Clam. I hear what you're saying, but it's just the way I am. I'm a pout-pout fish with a pout-pout face. So I spread the dreary wearies all over the place. Blub. 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 Along comes a jellyfish. He floats through the ocean. His tentacles all trailing in gentle locomotion. Hey, Mr. Fish, with your daily scaly scowl. I wish you wouldn't greet us with a grimace and a growl, says the fish to his friend. Mr. Jelly, I agree. I'd like to be more friendly, but it isn't up to me. I'm a pout-pout fish with a pout-pout face, so I spread the dreary wearies all over the place. Blub. 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 Along comes a squid, quite a slender, squiggly sight. She is squirmy, she is squelchy, she is slightly impolite. Hey, Mr. Fish, you kaleidoscope of mope! How about a smile, a little joy, a little hope, says the fish to his friend. Mrs. Squid, I would try, but I haven't any choice. Take a look and you'll see why. I'm a pout-pout fish with a pout-pout face, so I spread the dreary wearies all over the place. Blub. 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 Along comes an octopus with eight great arms covered on the underside with tiny sucker charms. 
Hey, Mr. Fish, let me tell it to you straight. Your hulky bulky sulking is an unattractive trait, says the fish to his friend. Mr. Eight, my chum, with a mouth like mine, I am destined to be glum. I'm a pout pout fish with a pout pout face, so I spread the dreary wearies all over the place. Blub. Now along comes a fish in a silent silver shimmer. The gang has never seen before this bright and brilliant swimmer. She approaches Mr. Fish, but instead of saying hey, she plants a kiss upon his pout and then she swims away. Mr. Fish is most astounded. Mr. Fish is just aghast. He is stone-faced like a statue. Then he blinks and speaks at last. My friend, says Mr. Fish, I should have known it all along. I thought that I was pouty, but it turns out I was wrong. I'm a kiss kiss fish with a kiss kiss face for spreading cheery cheeries all over the place. So I'll smooch, 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 smooch. I thought I would show you some of the musical artwork that we have on our walls. This is something I painted on an old board that I found. Uh, I've obviously used lots of animals from the bayou area. I love this. It is a bulletin board that used to hang outside of my classroom and after I was done with it there, I brought it home to put it up in the nursery. And this is a reference to the Muppet movie. That's a classic movie. If you haven't seen it, I highly recommend it. It starts with Kermit playing banjo in the swamp by himself and singing a song called The Rainbow Connection. Here we have a quilt baby blanket thing that my mom made for me uh, when I was very, very, very young. I love it so much. It's bears playing the bass drum with little cotton ball mallets and holding balloons. We gave it to my son when he was born and it hangs over their crib today. Ah, the circle of quilts. Sisterhood of the traveling quilt. Hanging above my head when I sit to do the tongue twisters section of the show is this wonderful piece of art. It's called Symphony in the Flint Hills. I love it. It has taken barbed wire and turned it into a musical staff. So this is a real photo of the Flint Hills in Northeast Kansas and digitally superimposed is this music. The fence posts of course are bar lines. Above my piano I have this cool print done by an artist in New Orleans named Jamie Hayes. New Orleans music. Here's some construction paper art that I made about seven years ago. Um, it is based on a photo that I took at a concert by a band called The Flaming Lips. I went to that concert with my wife on New Year's Eve and took this photo and turned it into artwork. This is Bjorn Fleurgentrollen. I unearthed him when I went on an archaeological dig in Norway. He's a trumpet playing troll. So revered is Bjorn over there for his wisdom that some even consider him the Norwegian Johnny Kaw. He was reclusive, only coming out once every seven years or so. Uh, legend had it that he used to climb to the country's highest peak at dusk and play this trumpet thing in triumph any time Panda Paradise got a customer. <laughs> Above our pantry, in our kitchen, we have this wonderful piece of art. 
made by a Louisiana artist named Trish Ransom. Trish works in what she calls debris art. So she takes old things that people are throwing out and turns them into artwork. And that little guitar thing right there, its gills are an old key. The fish's fins are from a CD that I gave her by a band called the Ratfish Wranglers. And if you are wondering, this is a salmon. On our bookshelf over here, we have two wonderful shoes that were decorated uh, and given to me at a parade during Mardi Gras called Muses. This glittery beauty right here was given to me by a parent of one of my students, and it's got piano keys on the toes. This one was given to me by another parent of a student, and I think this is really cool and unique too because it sort of ties into what's in Mr. Parker's house from episode one. If you look, she's Velcroed a music box to the front, and it plays the state song. So these shoes are given out every year and they're kind of the prized possession to get at this Mardi Gras parade. Writers spend hours and hours and hours and hours beforehand decorating them to make them these into these beautiful artistic keepsakes. So thank you, Jenna and Michelle. Stuff for you to do after you finish up the show. All right, everybody, that about does it for another episode of The House on Music Street. Thanks again for joining us. This week I have two things I'd like you to do after you finish up the show. The first thing is write your own verses to Ida Red. So like what I did earlier in the show, change the color red to a different color and then come up with a new last line for each verse that rhymes with your new color. Try to write three new verses. Uh, I'd also like to know about your musical artwork. You might have some displayed in your home already. If you do, it'd be cool to see it. Uh, and if you don't, you can make some of your own original music themed artwork. If you're one of my students, you can submit pictures of those to our school's online portal. And if you're not one of my students, you can email it to the house on music street at gmail.com or tweet it to us at house on music or post it on Instagram house on music. All right, thanks again for joining us. I'll see you later.